we will talk about the consumer regulation protection and the consequences of regulation policies on consumer behaviors. For these new topics, we have met Johannes Jonen, professor in economics at Kohl-Lidham. He will present us his new research project called Browsing versus Studying, a pro-market case for regulation. Hello, uh, I'm Johannes Jonen. I'm a professor in economics uh, at Core Lidam uh, at the Université Catholique de Louvain. I started here in 2016 and before I did my PhD uh, in Berlin. And my areas of research are behavioral economics and industrial organization. We study the role of limited attention of consumers when products are complex and difficult to fully understand. Um, now we believe that many products are complex in this sense. Uh, other examples include mortgage contracts, but also technical products like cars or fridges um, and how complex technical features translate um, into characteristics that consumers care about, like product safety or energy efficiency. Our key result is on the regulation of these complex secondary features. Um, the main idea being that if you regulate complex features of products, it's safe for consumers to ignore these features. They no longer have to spend their limited attention um, to do a lot of studying of products. Instead, uh, they can use their time and energy to do more comparison shopping, uh, which benefits consumers uh, by encouraging competition and inducing lower prices. Uh, examples we have in mind uh, are regulations that limit the burden that firms can impose on consumers through complex secondary features. Examples are safety regulations of products, um, limited liability rules, but also regulations of additional fees um, and regulating the costs that firms can hide in the small print of uh, standard term business to consumer contracts. Regulation should not be too detailed in, and context specific because if the regulation is very detailed, consumers might no longer have to study the details of products, but instead they have to study uh, the complex regulation instead. So there's little gain uh, in terms of encouraging comparison shopping of consumers. Uh, a key takeaway is that, that regulation shouldn't be too context-specific and wide in scope. And we think a good example is the EU's unfair contract terms principle. It puts limits on the costs that firms can hide in the small print of standard business-to-consumer contracts and thereby makes it safe for consumers to ignore the small print of contracts and to instead do more comparison shopping.